The pain that patients with gangrene go through is uh, unimaginable. Most of them are put in an area where nobody goes close to them. They are like untouchables. A person who has a non-healing wound due to diabetes will eventually get into a need on amputation because the wound is not healing. And if a wound does not heal, it gets necrotic, it dies. And then you've got to amputate the limb so that you're giving a little bit of life to the human being. When I see my patients take that first step after the point where they knew that they were losing their limb, the number one expression that I have in my heart is gratitude to the Lord because it was His healing where He used me as an instrument. So I've had the privilege of uh, working in the best corporate companies uh, of the world, one of them being Oracle Corporation. I joined as a lower level executive. When I left Oracle. My last title there was for Vice President Sales. It was this time of the year I attended the JLS event in Mangalore. One of the very powerful speakers was Gary Hogan. But why is fear the fundamental challenge? Because fear is the silent destroyer of dreams. This touched me phenomenally. And I said, Cheryl, you are fearful. This is a wake-up call. The day the GLS summit ended, I received a call from a very close friend saying, hey Cheryl, there is an offer of a hospital, which is pretty much run down. Would you like to take it? It was a wow factor for me. So immediately we went ahead, we mustered all the money we could. I had good backing from my parents, my sister who supports me financially. It took us about two months for us to do up the hospital. We bought new beds, we equipped the operating theater with all the equipment we needed. We made sure that this was a full-fledged hospital where patients would get very good care. When the Lord calls you, He puts all the pieces together and where He leads, He provides. So far, we have impacted close to 40,000 lives. If I have to be precise, that would be about 39,700 odd limbs as of today. By having saved so many limbs from amputation, we have saved so many people from death. Cheryl's focus has always been around making people's lives better. Her compassion for the hurting and the suffering clearly shows a burden in her heart to serve. When the Lord called me for this, the question was, Lord, are you serious? I am not equipped. I don't have the medical degree to go ahead. But then the burden was so heavy that I had to quit my job. I enrolled myself with Harvard Medical School and I had to go forward with the purpose that the Lord has planted in my heart. Fear can be a complete destroyer. When God calls us, we should not be afraid to get into the new era, to leave the old behind. You've got to beat your fear and be a conqueror.